Hi. You probably won't be able to hear this. It is so windy out here. I'm riding against the wind. My scooter's only doing like 15 and it is hot. It made my motor really hot on it. I pulled over for a minute. Hi. Thank God, just a little scrape. Oh, fuck. It fucking hurt, babe. This, it's just dark out here. It's ridiculous. I wasn't going very fast, though. I don't know the ones that get you, but... I'm on my way. I'm waiting at the crosswalk right now. A couple blocks from the house. But I'll message when I get home and I unwind, okay? Get in the shower. Love you. I got a bad headache, man. I don't get headaches like this. Maybe I'm dehydrated or something. I don't know. That's a good one. Needed to, and I will when I get inside. I'm going to the emergency room. Um, sorry, I was right. I crashed my scooter last night. Really bad, you guys. I can't even bend my arm. Ah, uh, my elbow. It's swollen. God, it hurts so bad. So I need to go to the ER. But uh, I'll get back with you guys on it. But she was right. Bye, guys. I'll be back. Hey, good morning. So. I just had Dustin's messages and he has fallen off his scooter and hurt himself and I'm just like it you know what it reminds me of it reminds me of that Katie Price incident where she was on holiday and she decided to jump off a wall and then she smashed both her feet and you think you just go why why you're in your 40s come on we're not 17 that's what it reminded me of but yeah I'm, I'm trying to be sympathetic and not like i told you so hey it's a crack in my elbow it's called a radial arm fracture radial elbow fracture so what it does look it up so he said like four weeks but if they have light duties for me i can go back pretty quick so I'm going to talk to him and see. Yeah, so I can make money. You know, I can do like inventory paperwork and stuff. I'm right-handed. So I just can't be moving boxes. I swear to God, I've just got with the most unluckiest person who has the worst luck ever. There's always something with him. There's always. I, I knew that. I, I'm, I'm going to say it. I knew that skater was a bad idea. Anyway, I'm just tidying up in Clara's room. I'm trying to go feed the fish as well because she doesn't do it. So I always end up having to do it. <sighs> what can you say? Just what can you say, you know? Ah, I'm scooterish for probably two to three weeks, babe. I'm out of it. Ah, waiting right now to probably to get my sling that I won't wear. And uh, yeah, waiting right now. I'm waiting for the CT scan to come back. They're just making sure there ain't no bone fragments or separated muscle, but I'm pretty sure there ain't. It's just, it's just really sore. I'm pretty sure. Gotta hope not. I love you so much. I know it's one thing after another, but we just keep fighting through it, man. I'm not gonna let this hold me down. I promise, baby. Well, there is some good news at the end of this tunnel. I just met with the two orthopedic surgeons. There's no bone chips anywhere, nothing like that. It's a clean cut a crack. Um, she said I can wear an arm band if I need to. I can go to work and just until I can tolerate it. Um, no restrictions, um, nothing. So um, she said just do it as I can tolerate it. So pretty good, very lucky very lucky even though it's broken it's not displaced um yeah i'll, I'll snap you the paperwork see what they say but <laughs> i i just sent just a message and i was asking him stuff and then I, right at the end i went are you all right you all right <laughs> what how are you doing are you okay are you all right I'm, I'm good, baby. You're fine for not asking that right at the beginning. It's going to be very eventful. Our life is. But it's going to be wonderful and exciting. Never boring. We're going to be okay. I'm good. How are you? Are you fine? <laughs> Hi, baby. Off and going. I'd like to say you're not going to believe this, but you're going to believe it because it's just me. Look at this shit. Look at those poor chocolate chips, baby. 
the fuck? Will I eat him? Yeah, that's not the point. The point is I burnt my shit, babe. Oh, I'm crawling into bed right now. It's a good place for me. Uh, for the next... Uh, next week, it's a good place for me, baby. Uh, I'm gonna put my arm in a sling tomorrow. Mm. Just do what I'm supposed to, you know. I want to heal. I promise I will, okay? I've got life to get on with. I can't... Can't mess with that, man. I'm gonna count it as a blessing. I'm gonna get a huge light for the front, like a big spotlight, like a big ass flashlight. I'm gonna tie it where that lock is at. Whoops. See the lock on the front right there? Okay, so I'm gonna lay it across the lock this way so it'll shine. Man, that should light that road up pretty good for me. You know. Oh, but it's gonna be an interesting life. Yep. Can we just appreciate the good old British weather? Look at that. Wouldn't you just love to be here? <laughs> I got my library card. I bet you really want to know what books I got. So, I, I did buy something for Clara. I saw it. And I don't know whether I'm going to give it her as a present. Because I want to stop buying Christmas presents. Or give it her now as just like a little gift. Because I think she feels like I never get her anything. So, this is what I got. Right, so first of all, I got healthy aging for dummies, but I thought it just looked quite good. And I, I've got to say, I really love these dummies books because I find them really straightforward to use, but also really informative. So I got that one out. Then my latte's body, I don't know what the hell I think I'm doing. Oh dear me, yeah, sure. I might be able to do that. Um, and healing foods. I need to say God to self, safe and healthy eating. So I thought this was quite good. And it's colourful and, you know, I like pictures. It stimulates my brain a bit. So, yeah, that's what I got out of the library. And then for Clara, I got her a bath bomb because I haven't got a bath bomb for ages. So that was like 1.99. And then to go with her massive thing, I got her this. I thought it was, it was really cute and it's one of these proper ones, it's not a cheap version, it was only 3 dollars it was reduced, so I don't know, but I thought it was super cute for her. But yeah, like I said, I might I might just put it away for Christmas and give her as a Christmas present, I'm not sure, but then I'm thinking she might be like, oh I'm so over that by Christmas or something, whereas this can go with a new one, I know she wants to clear her room out next week she wants to completely declutter it and tidy it and sort it out make it look nice she said so that's good and she wants to apply for a job that's good and then she said can you draw me up a proper a real calendar where I want to improve on all my weaknesses so maybe she is turning a corner a bit I hope so but anyway I'm gonna go and do my shopping that's the last thing I want to do I don't even want to go in there but needs must and I can get home. Hi everybody. So I just wanted to, I'm okay, I'm at a track stop called it's called Arena because across the street is the Delta Center where the Utah Jazz play and soon to be national hockey team. And uh, up the other side's a Pioneer House and let me see. Let me see that Delta Center, you guys. See that this track stop? Well there's two pillars here made of bronze that were put in my tracks, which I've never even taken time to read, which I just did now. And they actually say this site was a like an Indian burial, not burial site, but in, 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 in a site where the Fremont Indians lived thousands of years ago. And when they were putting in this tracks stop, they dug up some skeletons and stuff. And you know what? They still went ahead and put in the tracks stop here, you guys. Instead of going one street over, or what? Because they shared existing tracks with the railroad. Is is how we got tra public transportation everywhere in. in Salt Lake City is because the light rail shares tracks with the Pacific Railroad, Pacific Union Railroad that was here in the 1800s or whenever they came through. So it was more convenient for them to share the tracks in the path than to build new tracks. So what they did is they actually built this track station in that arena and all of this, this whole area over a historical site, which I didn't even know. So. I think that's horrible, you guys. But let me see if I can get these bronze statues. See that? See that bronze statue? 
and then the other one is right it's right behind me I can't turn my camera right there see that pillar right there you guys and then that one well my trains here but I'll talk about it more I, I'm just completely blown away that they did that so anywhere else in the world they would have made them shut this down but not Utah because they run their own everything the church does hi guys but anyway I wanted to show you this I've never I've never stopped and seen this I'm at the uh, the arena stop Delta Center right here at the track stop and it says a uh, hey, farmer as farmers from Fremont left much different archaeological remains than the hunter-gatherers before them they moved around but also built more permanent architecture such as pit houses and other features associated with long-term occupation. The South Temple Discovery is one of the few Fremont sites in the Salt Lake area that has been excavated. Developments such as farming and construction have destroyed many sites. Evidence gathered from other sites located near shores located near shores the Great Salt Lake shows that the area was heavily populated a thousand years ago the Fremont uh, probably used this area for ex extracting important resources use was probably oriented toward fishing hunting resources such as water flow and other marsh an marsh animals Right, so I've just got off the phone from talking to Dustin. We've been talking a lot this weekend about our plans, um, looking at apartments and what we're going to do and how he doesn't want to buy anything until I'm able to go out there next and we can shop together. Um, <laughs> he said, because if I buy something, you're just going to change it anyway and I'm going to end up paying twice. <laughs> smart man, very smart man. But anyway, I'm just waiting for Clara to come home. It's been emotional this weekend so it always is talking to Dustin it's like I don't know you just want to hurry the process up but I'm also aware that that process it's I think once we put in the application it's going to go so quick and it's going to be really stressful as soon as we apply all the different stages I think it's going to be stressful <laughs> personally if Dustin wants to go and see an immigration lawyer in September to check so that we can basically ask any questions so it's no bracket it really is right so clara's due home very very soon and i got her a little gift i didn't know whether to get give this for like christmas but then i don't know what all the trend is about this but she bought that and wanted it so that she could have it on her bed and use it like a pillow so in thornton's gift shop i saw these ones and it was 3.99 it was reduced and I thought that's so cute so I think <laughs> yes she's 15 and then I bought her a bath bomb as well so it's just a little gift for her so when she comes back from her dad's she's got this a bath bomb as well and I'm just leaving it on her desk there for her I love her almost a Walmart Here. Well, what's up, 
What's up with you? You all right? Just cruising? Yeah, just cruising. Okay, here's the camera. What up, bro? Say hi. <laughs> What's up, dude? I don't know who they are. We're to the end, my darling. That's all I see so far in your veggie meals. Those are your veggie combo meals. That you want to, I'm sure that's what you want to talk about or see. Avocado in the back. It's organic. Got some farmer stuff right here. Different cheeses. Super expensive. Cheese is so expensive. Look at that. 13 damn dollars for this box of cheese, sir. And it's fake cheese. It doesn't even melt in the microwave or the oven. I hear this is the best cheese and ice cream there is. That's what I hear. We'll have to try it. Tillamook. It's like a, a brand of dairy they have here, I believe. Tillamook, more Tillamook. Cash Valley, that's local, I think. Some homemade stuff. Right here. They make all this stuff here. It's like croissants and stuff like that. They're really expensive, though. I would try that. I would so try that. Hi, lover. I wanted to show you what $120 bought me. Nothing. But right, I'll start here. Corn, two little cobs, cheese, cookie dough, ice cream, toilet paper, six rolls, little sandwiches, pasta sauce, cheddar con, fresheners, two potatoes, two limes, three tomatoes, one pound of ground beef, Two bags of pasta. Look at this, Bob Evans macaroni and cheese. It's like that. I'm gonna eat that tonight. Cinnamon toaster cereal. Four pizzas. Cleaning stuff that smells like watermelon. I'm excited. Tortillas. Crispy, extra crispy fast food fries. Bake them in the oven. <clears throat> this little salad I'm having tonight. Santa Fe style. Beans. Mandarines, little baby cans of soda, milk, biscuits, that's it. Look at that. I just that blows my mind, baby. I'm blown away. You said you have a craving for chocolate. That's great. I like that you like to eat and that you snack and that you just I love it because you're not all dainty or like, oh just a little bit when we eat. You just eat in front of me and it's sexy. I love it. What kind of chocolate are you going to have? Cadbury, of course, right? Cadbury? Hmm? And um, you asked me about chocolate. So I bought Nestle Aereo, and this one's the hazelnut one. I, bought, I might have bought another one as well. <laughs> to start, I, I, have a, I have a habit of starting something, and then going to something else, and I don't finish what I started. I've got to stop that. I need to do one task at a time. But I'm terrible for that, but I will get it done. <laughs> I 
I wasn't lying. I wasn't lying when I said I have paperwork to do this, to do that, to do that. This really, in my head, I think it's going to help me organize my life and all the different areas and all the different sections to do it. But then I just get overwhelmed with everything. I even, I even have a daily checklist. I thought it might be in there, but nothing. And I have a social media file. What the hell do I have a social media file? Who the hell do I think I am? Exercise and tone sheets. Weekly diet and fitness sheets. Daily sheets. Planners for this. Planners for that. I have checklists. I do just laugh for the week that I'm supposed to do. Just trying to keep me on board. But then the truth is, I never even get that done. I don't know. I'm just stupid. I'm stupid, really. Definitely. You know, you're not stupid for making your list and doing your checklist and doing that stuff. That's going to really come in handy when we're together. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> what the fuck? You got lists everywhere, baby. Charts and lists and graphs and... Hmm. But don't don't say you're stupid. I don't like that. You're, you're not stupid. You're way smarter than me. And I'm pretty dumb, though. So, that's not saying much. <laughs> And these are all my other planners, all here. <laughs> oh, God. Babe, you are addicted to planner, making planner sheets and charts and graphs and schedules. And I think you got an addiction. I do. But I'll love you through it. <laughs> the fuck? You got all that social media file, babe? What is going on? <laughs> oh, and you get to start all over when you get here. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. You're my baby. And I love you for all your planning. All your, I love you for that. That's great, baby. It's awesome. Beautiful. Where to put it in? Yeah, I have everything. I have a visa file with all the stuff. This file is all the secret information I gathered on you. You think I'm joking. This is my business folder. This is my work folder. This is my education courses folder where I put all the information in there. That's my my other education stuff. This is my home folder. This is my <laughs> paranormal experiences folder. These are at my outfit folder where I like clothes and styles and I put them in there. This is my writing folder and um, well, yeah. Love you. I, I, it makes you happy. That's, that's what matters. Doing all that stuff makes you happy. If you didn't have that avenue to vent and do how you do with your list and stuff, you would just probably be unraveled in your head. So it is healthy. That's how you express yourself. That's how you. That's how you. That's you. <laughs> so I'm laughing, but because I think it's kind of cute too. I'm not gonna get jealous of him. He's gonna share the bed. So he ain't got a choice. Yeah, he's sharing the bed with me. <clears throat> But he's on your 75%. He, you know, he's my 25%. What, I only get 12% now? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> my girl in her list. My list girl. Oh, a file on me? A secret file? Is that necessary still? I mean, isn't that some stuff you can get rid of? Like, some of that stuff, babe? Those are things you can get rid of. A secret file on me. Oh, bless your heart. I love you. Uh, thank you for the videos. You look beautiful today. That's what I'm doing. Man, we're heading out right now, me and you, baby. So I'm gonna stop, turn it around, and then we're gonna enjoy ourselves. I just went out back to set Sparkos off, and there's a whole family of raccoons out there. Man, you could hear them. <laughs> They're little raccoon voices. They're, they're evil little bastards. <laughs> <laughs>